Let's look at some example problems. In the following example, I want you to find the geometric mean for the following two numbers. Go ahead, work this out on your own first, pause the video, and then resume when you're ready to see the solutions. For 2 and 18, we multiply 2 times 18. We get 36. Take the square root of 36, we get 6. Thus, the geometric mean of 2 and 18 is 6. For 12 and 27, multiply 12 times 27. We get 324. Take the square root of 324. We get 18. So the geometric mean of 12 and 27 is 18. Lastly, for 18 and 54, I want you to multiply 18 times 54. We get 972. Take the square root of 972. You get 31.18. Thus, the geometric mean of 18 and 54 is 31.18. Now, I could also, also ask you a question along the lines of, if the geometric mean of 15 and a number is 10, what is the other number? In which case, put your geometric mean, the 10 on one side, and we square it, and we set it equal to the two n numbers being multiplied together. So 15 and our unknown number. We get 100 equals 15x. x equals 100 divided by 15. And we get approximately 6.67, or if you want to, you can write 6 and 2 thirds. So the geometric mean of 6 and 2 thirds and 15 is 10. If you want to, you can double check that. We take 6 and 2 thirds times 15. We get 100. The square root of 100 is 10. That checks out. How about this one? Solve for x. The geometric mean of the quantities 2x plus 1 and 6x plus 1 is 4x plus 1. All right, again, pull out your geometric mean. Set that on one side, squared, and then it equals the two other quantities multiplied together. We now get 16x squared minus 8x plus 1 equals 12x squared plus 8x plus 1. We can subtract 1 from both sides, giving us 16x squared minus 8x equals 12x squared plus 8x. Subtract 12x squared from both sides, we get 4x squared minus 8x equals 8x. Add 8x to both sides, we get 4x squared equals 16x. We can divide both sides by x, we get 4x equals 16. Divide both sides by, f and let me just show you what I did there. We had 4x squared equals 16x. If you divide both sides by an x, the x's cancel and 1x cancels over here. That's how we get 4x equals 16. Divide both sides by 4, we get x equals 4. Okay, that was our last example. Here are your homework problems. I want you to simplify the ratio of 24 yards to 3 yards to the simplest fraction. Solve the following proportion of 1 over 7 plus y equals 2 over 3y. And then find the geometric mean of 16 and 18. Make sure you round this num number to at least three decimal places.